<laughs> it's the only thing about being in here, it'd be nice to have a little live audience and get a wee bit of kind of thing. <laughs> um, absolutely fantastic stuff. In terms of the writing, you're sitting down and you're, you're kind yeah. of doing that. Sometimes I ask this question, but don't, okay. don't be off with it. Say, for instance, I asked you to look out the window. It's a very panoramic view here. You can see yes. most of the east end of the city all the way over to kind of Hart Hill and, and uh, uh, Motherwell and whatnot over, over that way. If I said, look out the window, can you write me a tune about something? But something. Right how, how easy would that be for you to do? How easy? I'm not saying do it right um, now. Do it I'm right just, now. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, visual stimulus is, is good. It's good to mm. use, um, I think, images or, you know, real life and uh, start to try and write. Um, sometimes I've led workshops with, with young people and I've used... Uh, slides of, of pictures and got them to start kind of mind mapping out some ideas about you know what to do with that image what does the mm -hmm. image convey to them so it's a picture of a, a flower what it was that you know what does that mean and some people think love some people think uh, a new life some people think the end of mm -hmm. of of a season and um, the start of a season and uh, you know then take it from there and then develop a song out of it so sometimes I do that, um, and sometimes I try and do that myself. So I, I could give it a stab. I would like to. It's a, it is a nice view. Um, it's dark. There's lots of ideas. It's, it's dark. Certainly lots of lights. There's the glimmering <laughs> lights and the smog. <laughs> Not so pretty, but <laughs> it does give a nice effect. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something. Yeah, it's worth doing. Right. So the show finishes at ten. Last tune will be <laughs> the city of blinding lights <laughs> um, yeah yeah no I did I did ask that to someone yeah. once and they did actually come up with just a wee nonsense kind of thing but he yeah. was like I wasn't expecting that yeah fair enough <laughs> yeah cool. I don't know because it's one of these things I'm I'm kind of thinking and, and I say this a lot so uh, sorry to the listeners who've already heard this but yeah. you know you get to, to, to me too kind of the, the spectrum of songwriting if you like and yeah. me not having the talent, remember, <laughs> is Paul, Paul McCartney tumbling out of bed one morning and having yesterday pretty much in his head. It was just there, you know, sit down. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Pretty much that was it. And Billy Joel, who used to go out to his favourite Italian restaurant with a notebook and a pen and a bottle of wine, and he wouldn't move until something had kind of gone onto the paper, yeah. you know. I wonder how many bottles of wine he had to Well, <laughs> I couldn't possibly say on live radio. I wonder what doing then as well. Uh, yeah. Um, and I think, you know, I think it's, it's a fascinating process how, yeah. you know, some people will, you know, something will just come to them and, and kind of... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think every song's different <laughs> as well, you know. <laughs> I've had songs that have just, you know, I've thought of and it's been written in a, a few, you know, a few minutes and then mm -hmm. others that are... Hanging around for months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> just waiting for the final piece of kind of. Yeah, just to feel happy with it. Just yeah. to feel like it's ready to share. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were talking there about teaching or, or using music, presumably yeah. with 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 kids. Yeah, I've done that. Um, kind of thing, and I, I think it's great. I've heard a few stories of a few big uh, musicians. Uh, Tommy Sands being being one as well, where he's gone into a prison and used right. um, music yeah. with. I mean, you know, in in America, so big, burly, you know, gang right members and whatnot, and he's been able to make them cry eventually because they've been able to get out through song. Yeah, all the feelings that made them bad bad boys in the first place. Right. Yeah. Do you know what you think? It's just <laughs> absolutely amazing. How how do the kids react? Well, I've done it with with young people, like as as kind of workshops on songwriting, and um, maybe not uh, music therapy like that. Um, and usually quite well, you know, um, especially, you know, because most of them turn up because they're already interested. So yeah. that's a good starting point. It, I think maybe some need more encouragement than others to to start um, working out their ideas. And some people lack the kind of confidence. I've seen young people who just, uh, they've got the idea and they've got something really good, but they're, they're just unsure of it, and it's just encouraging them and facilitating them. Mm -hmm. um, often when I've led the workshops, it's more about them having the space to do it than it is me teaching. 
um, because um, songwriting is a, a journey and it's not one that I've mastered. So, um, you know, I'm not like a Yoda uh, to them. I'm just I'm there <laughs> as a friend, a facilitator. And, they, you know, I think um, there's some fascinating stuff that's come out of um, some, some of those workshops. Um, a girl in, in Aberdeen actually went on to record a couple of tracks that she'd written um, okay. from last year's camp and this year's camp with uh, Scripture Union um, when I was doing stuff. So Fantastic. that's brilliant. You know, she's, yeah. she's about 16 or something and, you know, she's en route to, to writing more songs and hopefully recording more and sharing those. So, yeah, I think it gives people an opportunity. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I, I, I played the recorder at primary school, that's kind of about as much. Um, and I can still, you know, pick out Go Tell Aunt Nancy. Yeah. Kind of thing, you know, these, kind of thing these days, but uh, I'm confined to the CD. Um, and I'm not sure that the, I mean, I can't remember the opportunities being available, you know, for that kind of thing. So yeah. it's cracking that folks like yourself are, you know, getting in there and yeah, bringing folks along. So 10 out of 10 for that. Thank um, you. So we have a wee break just now, and uh, what we'll do is, at this part of the show, I normally do my folk or not. Now, we've primed you, haven't we? Yes. So you've already heard this. Um, And uh, what we do is we take a song that's not normally seen as folk, and uh, I think is folk, and then we punt it off to the folkers on Facebook. Yeah. And they vote on it. As to whether okay. it should be folk or not. So this one, this one I've picked because the lyric is very much about um, it's I guess science and technology, but more about um, did man cope with going to the moon? And she asks the question directly: Did we go to the moon too soon? Because it was that race on at the time. It was more mm-hmm. ideological, where you had the Russians and the Americans just racing to, to get up there. But yeah. I'm not sure that we were really ready as a people to take on the meaning of it. Yeah, would you agree with that? I, d- I don't know. It's, don't very, know deep. it's, it's very, very deep. It's very deep. That's not what I was expecting for Friday night on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is. Uh, I, th- I think there's, there's, there's a lot of kind of deep stuff, as you say, uh, within this tune. So have a wee listen to the lyrics, will you? And uh, you can vote on facebook.com forward slash Celtic Music Radio, and you'll see the wee question in there. It's easy, folk or not. Right, we should go to Facebook and see what some of the comments are on this, shall we? Um, so, and I should have been ready there, but we've been too busy gabbing, so you just need to excuse me while I sort this out. Can you yeah, <laughs> fill the gap a wee bit? Um, so, yeah, if we go to that, folk or not, um, right, let's get the comments up. Da, 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 da. Uh, Martin Egan, we were talking about earlier on, cracking singer-songwriter from Ireland as well. Um, great singer-songwriter, that's a kind of yes there. Uh, Davy Lee's, I've always got problems with Davy Lee's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, he plays in a band called Haggardash, who he reckons are folk. Right. Um, right. They are really, but that's... Anyway, um, it's no fair, <laughs> it's not folk, it's a great song. It's folk, Davy. Um... Uh, Martin Egan came back with a, a cracking Louis Armstrong quote All music is folk I ain't heard no horse sing <laughs> Good on you Louis uh, Davies come back with a one saw horse fly I think that's Disney isn't it I don't think Disney Well yeah, we'll yeah I come back to that. <laughs> uh, Aaron Strachan is saying Lots of words, dubi- dubious rhymes And deeply political ecological message Of course it's folk that's just what you that, were saying. That's what I would, I would probably um, go along those lines. Yeah. Um, it's got something to say. It's folk. 